Welcome back. I'm Casey Campbell with Great Lakes Post as well as WJR 760 in Detroit. Pleased to be joined by Justin Algeyer, the driver of the number seven this week, Briars Ice Cream Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports. Um, how's it going? It's good, buddy. It's good. It's always uh, always be good. It's always good to go back to a racetrack where we've had some success already this year. Uh, we have Briars Ice Cream on the car, so that makes two ice cream races at Darlington, and you can't really go wrong with ice cream. So, you know, checker flags and ice cream, they go hand in hand. What's your favorite ice cream, Justin? Ooh. <laughs> that's that's a tough one right there. Um, you know, I'm I'm kind of weird. I'm like a classic vanilla, classic vanilla type of person. Um just depends on the day. Mint, mint chocolate chip can can get in there as well, but most of the time just straight vanilla. What what's Harper's favorite? Uh, whatever she sees at the store that she looks at, but you know, my wife is a chocolate chip cookie dough person. So I would say she tends to gravitate to a chocolate chip cookie dough right now. Yeah. So we have, uh, I just tried, um, here in Michigan, we have, uh, just down the road in a town called Howell, we have, they have melon ice cream that comes out every year. So I don't know if you had that. I don't know if you want to try that, but, uh, I've not tried that. No, it sounds interesting. Yeah. Yeah when you come up to Michigan next year, I'll have to get you some. So, all right. But anyway, yeah. uh, of course you, you said, of course you won in an, of course, in a, it's going, keeping the ice cream theme going. You won in a ice cream theme car. Of course, uh, the, one of the best throwback schemes out there in May. Uh, but I got to say, you guys have had a lot of confidence this season, winning at tracks that you never had a chance to win at. And, you know, Atlanta and then of course, Darlington this year. How excited is it to go back to a track that you've won at previously this year? Well, I think it's it's twofold. Number one, it's exciting to go back because obviously you've run well this year already. Our team has done a fantastic job of preparing a race car to go there and, and, and be competitive. Uh, but on the flip side of that, you also have the pressure, right? You were the defending winner, right? So you want to go back there and be fast and, and put yourself in a good position and try to win the race. Um, on top of that, you know, they've made some pretty significant changes to Darlington Raceway. You know, there's a, a giant patch from basically the middle of turn one and two all the way to the exit. And, you know, typically I would say for us, if it's a triple header weekend where trucks are there, they would typically go before us. You know, they'd be on a Friday afternoon or Friday evening, Friday night. This week is not that way. They're on Sunday afternoon. So, you know, we're going to be the first cars on the racetrack. We're going to be the first ones to see what that new patch is like. And I have to imagine, you know, just based on past history, right? I have to imagine that it's going to be very, very tricky uh, to, to navigate. It's going to be difficult to get through that section, especially early on. Oh, and by the way, I'm pretty sure I start third. So I'll be one of the first ones to it uh, if, if, if it is uh, a little sketchy. So, you know, that we got a lot got a lot going for us. We also got a lot going against us. And so I think that, you know, we have to do a good job. You know, the team, they've done a fantastic job of trying to be prepared. Um, but, you know, the things that we ran in May maybe aren't necessarily the same things that we're going to run today. You know, we're, we're, we've worked on our program. We've made our cars better. And so, you know, we, we, we have to make some adjustments to the setup as well. So there's a lot, a lot going on, even though, uh, even though it was a good race before, still a lot going on. Yeah, I can confirm that you do start third. And I just talked to Kerry Tharp, uh, uh, of course, the track president at Darlington. Um, also, you know, going into that, are, are you, what are, what are your, I know it had to be done, but what are your thoughts about, you know, driving through there? Do you have any concerns about going with that? Oh, I wish you had practice. I mean, obviously that would, that would uh, make a lot of, a lot of things easier. You know, we'd at least know what we're up against, but you know, that's part of, what you know these covid times have kind of driven us to right we went to daytona road course a racetrack that we'd never even seen before never made a lap on and we took the green flag as a as a race right so you know i think that there's uh there's something to be said for you know the nascar series all of the series to be able to just show up unload and and throw down you know, and, and so for us, that's what the, the, the circumstances are. We're going to go, we're going to, we're going to lay it all out there and we're going to go try to push as hard as we can. Um, you know, I, I think that it will be interesting because obviously, as you mentioned, it needed to be done. There, there were some issues that they were having where the race track was actually coming apart. They had patched it. They had, you know, done all these things to try to make it work. Right. And, and unfortunately just 
it wasn't working. We, we, we had to make some adjustments. And so, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, how it runs. But, you know, the good thing is, is that all 40 of us that are going to take the green flag on, on Saturday afternoon, we're all in the same boat. We all are, are guessing just as much as the other person. And, and the person that guessed right is going to be the one that's probably going to go to victory lane on that particular day. Yeah. Good stuff there. And of course, we we're coming up to some good tracks uh, for you as well. Of course, uh, you know, of course, next week at Richmond, a track that you've won at, um, you know, Phoenix. So towards the end of the year, and you got some other, you got some other good ones as well. What, what, what's, I know, I know the championship is, the focus, but how excited are you to come up to some tracks that you've had some pretty good success at? Well, I think it's it, number one, you know, we have some good racetracks before we get to playoffs. We have some good racetracks once we get started in the playoffs. So, you know, there's never a bad thing to add a few bonus points if you can before the playoffs start. But, but then also too, you know, once the playoffs start, you know, these racetracks that are, that are good for us, if we can go capitalize and go to victory lane, you're just locking yourself into those next rounds you know, right from the get go. And, and that is so much easier than having to try to, you know, worry about the point situation or if one of the other competitors that maybe is behind you in points, you know, ends up winning. Um, you know, we have a stout, stout, stout group of drivers in the NASCAR spending the series this year. And at any given time, I would say that there's about, you know, 12, 15 of us that, that could win on any given weekend. Oh yeah. And that makes it difficult when you're in those moments, you know, when you're, when you're looking at the playoff point scenarios and what could happen and couldn't happen uh, you know, it, it definitely puts a premium on making sure that you can try to get a victory early. And, and so, you know, for us uh, you're going to have to maximize the days that you're the racetrack suits you and you're really good. And you're going to have to try to limit the damage on the days that it's not and, and, and do your best job. So, you know, we got to work it out for us, but, but on the other hand, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be a part of this with any other team. You know, our team at Jim Sports does a great job and builds fantastic Camaros to go to the racetrack each and every week. So we're going to, we're going to go out there, lay it all on the line and hopefully uh, put ourselves in a really good position. Speaking of junior motorsports, I know that there's been, uh, of course, Josh is going full time. It's been good to see him. Um, and of course, Noah's back. Of course, Sam will be back. I got want to ask you about that with Josh and Sam, particularly with the new guys. I know you've gotten to know Noah a lot. Um, in the past since he's joined the organization what is what's it been like to watch josh uh, get the opportunities that he's had and what what's been like to see sam have some have some good ones as well yeah so you know josh obviously i've known josh now since i started at Jumo sports you know he's been a staple of the late model program but but also too you know i was fortunate enough to get to race with him when he did come and run some of the xfinity races a couple of years ago and get to watch his his progression and you know josh is an incredibly talented race car driver there's there's no question about it um you know his talent behind the wheel is 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 truly special and and not that um the people that were close to the situation never saw that it just wasn't ever an opportunity for him to go and run full time and, and be you know, in the car week in and week out like he like he has been in the beginning part of this year and then obviously being able to go that way next year so, you know, I'm super, super pumped that he's gotten this opportunity and, and you know, he's made the most of it. You know, he is, he is definitely, uh, you know, gone to the racetrack with, with, you know, everything he's got and, and given a hundred percent and obviously been a threat to win it, you know, almost all the races that he's running. So that, that in itself is, is really, really cool. Um, you know, so, so for him to run next year full time is going to be awesome. I mean, you know, he's going to, he's a great teammate, but, but going to be a lot of fun as a competitor as well. And then, you know, obviously adding Sam into the mix, um, you know, Sam, Sam's been a great, a great, uh, great driver. And, and obviously had a lot of success as well before he got to, to do more sports. And, you know, one of the biggest things that I think we try to make sure he, you know, he got was um, just not to put too much pressure on himself. You know, he's obviously talented. He's got, he's got the world in front of him just turned 18 Right. And, and you're going to go out there and you're going to have success. No question. Um, but you know, you're also racing with the guys that have a lot of experience and you're probably going to get beaten, banged around a little bit and, and, and learn the ropes. And, and, um, you know, I, I, I think, uh, once he gets settled in and gets comfortable, uh, he's going to be a threat to win, you know, each and every week, just like Josh was, but you know, just getting that comfort level, especially at, at that young of an age is going to be really, really difficult. So, you know, I've, uh, you know, I think he's putting in the work, he's putting in the time and, and, you know, if he keeps doing that, he'll have, he'll have a lot of success in the sport for sure. Um, do you have any plans for next year? Do you, do you know what you're doing yet? 
Uh, I, I would say that, that we're, we're definitely moving forward on everything. Um, you know, I'd love to be back in, in, uh, in, in the seven card GMR sports and that's the, that's the focus and that's the plan. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep going along and, and, and plugging along and hopefully we'll have some stuff to announce here soon. All right. Also, um, key to win Darlington. What does the seven team have to do to get it done? Uh, Darlington strive is a no, no, uh, you know, that's going to be the biggest thing first and foremost. Um, you know, I think, I think pit strategy is super important. We, we played the pit strategy game in the spring really, really well. And, and, you know, ultimately that was what ended up winning us the race. So, you know, I think, I think pit strategy is going to be ultra important and then just managing the race, you know, not, it's really easy to want to chase the rabbit and, and go out there and, you know, somebody's going to be really fast and somebody's going to be out front and they're going to, they're going to, you know, be pushing the pace. And it's really hard not to chase that, you know, and, and it's really easy to get yourself in a bad spot. If your car's either not handling as well as you want to, or, you know, if that car's just going for broke and they burn the tires off of it in 15 or 20 laps, you know, it's really easy to catch back up and, and go back by them. So, you know, even though there's a new patch in turn one and two, it's still the same old Darlington, you know, tires are going to fall off. You're going to have to, um, you're going to have to really, you know, manage the pace early to be there at the end. And hopefully we can do that. All right. Just now, Guyer, thank you so much for joining us this uh, today and uh, good luck this weekend at Darlington. Sounds good, buddy. Thank you as always.